Hi guys, I've taken you to Monkey Bay Port. Yeah, so this is the place. It's also a shipyard whereby all the ships, when they have got a breakdown and they want to do repair and maintenance, it's done here. But uh, basically, this is it uh, the port for cargo and uh, passenger ships, uh, both of them. Uh, as you can see, uh, here are some of the ships, guys, but they are grounded, I guess. Uh, we've got the Ufulu ship, which is right here. This is Ufulu. Then uh, there we've got the Ntendele ship. Yeah, it should be also grounded. And we've got another one there. Yeah, so here it is. There are some more there. We've boarded the Chirembwe before. As you can see, there is a Chirembwe. We have boarded that one before on a, when we are going to Likoma. Yeah, I, I understand uh, Ilala was here yesterday, docked here yesterday, but we missed it. It's left on its way northbound to Nkada Bay, then Likoma, all the way. Yeah, it's the current, I think it's the only ship that's. Uh, see where they are the point so this is the current situation here at the port in Imanki Bay Malawi welcome to Imanki Bay Harbor some of you have watched Pearl Harbor Pearl Harbor was hit by the Japanese in 1941 I've just forgotten the actual date but it's on December it was hit by the Japanese and and uh, uh, the Pearl Harbor in Malawi, we have Monkey Bay, which is also a harbor. And if you can turn around and see the ships around there, what it means is this is a harbor. There is no other place to make Malawi that can act as a harbor. Very beautiful water, guys, on this Easter Sunday. So beautiful, the weather is nice, all creation declares the existence of God, the higher power who created all this, praise to him on this Easter Sunday, where we are commemorating and celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And uh, this is a cargo vessel, Katundu. The fishing place that I was talking about, the fishermen and the middlemen, right there, so those are the fishing boats. Uh, all here, some trawlers for fishing on Lake Malawi. The Curio Market. Jewelry, <laughs> 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 Nangaga, I mean, the jewelry. Oh, it's just a frog, Mo karo tu kanis lah, mo padu abadu. Eh, 
Chess game on the Rosga. Oh, for eight thousand. Goshen City, Prophet Bushir is Goshen City is here, guys. So where we are coming from is uh, Bushiri's uh, Goshen City. Wow, guys, it's so massive. The project is massive. I wasn't able really to um, to, to take uh, good videos because the place is still under construction. So yeah, it's something that I, I cannot go in. But maybe when once it's finished in the uh, years to come, but you can just take a glimpse and have an idea of how it's going on. Yeah. So I really I cannot attest uh, or or say anything about his prophetic ministry. I'm not a member of his church. Um, neither do I know anything about his prophetic ministry, but what I can talk about is his entrepreneurial spirit. I'm really impressed by it because it's so daring to take on that project. So big, so massive. Yeah, congratulations to, to the young man um, and his family. From Monkey Bay, um, on the lake shores, in the background, featuring Lake Malawi. Guys, this place has got so many, I think mango, she basically has so many baobab trees. This is a baobab tree. The dark there are baobab fruits. There are so many of these trees around. So, if you don't know, this is a baobab fruit. It's it's hard. The the shell is hard. It's like hardened shell, uh, as you can see. So I've got a number of them because I'm going to make a um, baobab juice. I'll make some juice using this. Yeah. So uh, this one I've I've um, opened it. It's a hard shell, so we eat um, these. These are the fruits. They are seeds, and uh, for this white stuff, hmm? as you can see. So this is what we eat. That's what we eat from a baobab fruit. Yeah. So like this. And when you eat later on, you spit out the the remaining um, seed. Baobab tree. Baobab fruits.
Oh, 